Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has had a quiet January transfer window as Manchester United interim manager. There's been no new signings, no incomings, no new centre-back, which I wanted, a lot of you wanted as well. So there are some United fans that are frustrated at what they've seen in the January transfer window from the club. But there are two major bits of transfer activity that Solskjaer has been involved with, and both of them are excellent, excellent news for Manchester United as a club. Before we get into the video to discuss these two deals, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV just down there if you are new to the channel and hit that notifications bell. Join the United People's TV and community, get involved, it's good fun. But let's get straight into the video. And the first talking point is, of course, about Anthony Martial and him signing a new five-year deal with Manchester United. Mohamed Bouhafsi, who works for RMC out in France, has confirmed that Martial has agreed a new five-year deal that will keep him at the club until June 2024. If you don't know who Mohamed Bouhafsi is, he's a journalist who broke the story first from Martial to joining United. So he's obviously got strong sources there. And for United, it ends a major long set of negotiations that have happened between Martial and the club. And who could blame Martial for delaying it, I suppose? If you look at the point where Mourinho was willing to sell Martial to bring in William only last summer, who could blame Martial for considering whether United was the right club for him and his future? But he has now put pen to, well, put, he will put pen to paper. The announcement is expected before Friday. But Martial has committed his future to the club. He now is confident that United is the right place for him. And that's a major, major decision for Martial and also a major indicator for us United fans that the club is moving in the right direction. With Solskjaer in as interim manager, Martial's really enjoyed himself playing out on the left. He did play well under Mourinho as well, but it's not just him now. It's the whole style of football and the system that we are playing. And Martial's confident. He's enjoying his football. And he's now confident enough that whatever happens this summer, whether that be Solskjaer signing a contract and becoming our permanent manager, or someone like Pochettino or Zidane comes in, that United is the right place for Martial to excel. And that's fantastic, you know, because he already is a star. He's, he's a proper United player. Direct, exciting, sort of player that gets you to the edge of your seat in Old Trafford. And United holding on to him is a real indicator and a sign that the club is moving in the right direction, so much so that players like Martial are willing to commit their futures to it. And he already is a star, but I'm still confident, absolutely confident that Martial can be a world-class player. He hasn't had that huge growth spurt like he did at the start of his United career, but I'm confident that under the right manager and with enough time, Martial can become that player. So for him to sign a new contract is a major, major bit of positive news for Manchester United, but it's not the only one. And I suppose this is going to be the major transfer for Manchester United in the window, and it's not a player coming in, it's a player going out. And that player is Marouane Fellaini. Marouane Fellaini has agreed personal terms on a move to Chinese club Shandong Luneng, and the deal is expected to go through. It doesn't have to happen before Thursday because the Chinese transfer window stays open longer. So if it doesn't happen before Thursday, don't panic. Fellaini can still leave. And for me, this is such a significant deal for Manchester United. Not simply because we're just selling a player, but because it's Fellaini, it would mark the biggest shift towards this ideal of what I want United to be, and Fellaini plays no role in that. First and foremost, it's the absolute right decision to sell Fellaini. Fellaini isn't, never has been, and never would be a Manchester United player. Fellaini was signed by David Moyes on deadline day because Moyes failed to sign Cesc Fabregas, went, shit, I need to, Marouin, go on in. And we signed him for more than his release clause that expired a few weeks earlier. It was an embarrassment. It was an embarrassing transfer in how it happened. And for me, Marouane Fellaini was never a United player. Yes, he served a real purpose in terms of when he played Fellaini ball and it worked. It really worked. But I never liked it. It always jarred with me. And it jarred with a lot of United fans. That's why so many United fans have never been able to get on with Fellaini. You know, he was cursed from the start in the respect that he was signed by David Moyes. And he was effectively a relic of the David Moyes era. And that ended seven months in, but five years down the line, Fellaini's still here. So in that sense, unlucky for Fellaini. But for United to sell him now, for Solskjaer to get rid of him in January, such a big deal. And the second reason I think it's such a major deal for United, because I, as I said, I think it's, 
it marks a, a symbolic shift from United towards the United style because we're now making decisions, it seems, as a football club first rather than a manager first because Marouane Fellaini was given a new contract in June 2018. A lot of us scratched our heads, but Jose Mourinho loved Marouane Fellaini, so Jose Mourinho was able to give Marouane Fellaini a new contract. I don't think that's going to be the case with United transfers anymore. The club are going to make the decision first. And while I think Ed Woodward was wrong to undermine Jose Mourinho in not signing the defenders he wanted in the, in the summer, for a club, that, I mean, that's what a sporting director is supposed to do, to make decisions in the transfer market which are aligned to the visions of the club. That hasn't happened in so long. And for us to sell Fellaini, it's just a major step in the right direction in that sense. All things considered, however, I do think a lot of United fans will have plenty of good things to say about Marouane Fellaini. Now, I'm going to cover this in a video next week after the news has been made official by Manchester United because I do think Fellaini deserves plenty of praise, a lot of criticism as well, but plenty of praise too. But we'll get into that next week. But overall, this January transfer window for a lot of United fans would have been disappointing because we didn't sign a new centre-back. We've seen how good Victor Lindelof is, but still question marks over Jones, over Bay, unfortunately, and of course, Chris Smalling. But was a new signing ever likely to happen in January? In reality, probably not. But these two transfer deals, Anthony Martial signing a new contract, pledging his future to the club, and Manchester United selling Mauro and Fellaini and getting rid of him, they're two major, major deals for United. One in the sense that we're keeping a player at the club that we thought only a few months ago he was going to leave because he wasn't happy. He's committed his future to the club. He's happy in the direction that United are going in and he wants to be part of it. And for United to sell Fellaini, for Solskjaer to do that so quickly after coming in, it shows that the club now is aligned in the right way of thinking. Fellaini scored plenty of important goals for United, but you always begrudged him coming on because you knew what was going to come next. That won't happen anymore. Fellaini's no longer an option. We need a different plan B. Fuck knows what that's going to be, but it's not going to be Marouane Fellaini. For a lot of United fans, that's a huge shift. We've had Moyes for seven months. We've had Van Gaal for a couple of seasons. We've had Mourinho for the best part of three seasons. But pushing all that to one side and pushing Fellaini out of the picture as well, you can really now see the club moving in that direction, the right direction, and Fellaini is not a part of it. That, for me, is huge. Let me know what you think about the news about Fellaini moving to China, about Martial signing a new deal. Hopefully in a few days, maybe we can celebrate David De Gea signing a new contract. Wouldn't that be fucking wonderful? That's the next major bit of news that we are waiting for. But as always, if you're new to United People's TV and you enjoyed yourself, please subscribe down there. Uh, until next time, take it easy.